Welcome to the world I not only live in, but often play in as well. I will be showing you um, my some of my designs that I'm really proud of. So the first here, you can kind of see it's a very modern design. I think I got the image off of Google, but normally how it happens with me is I find the image and only get one point of view, so I have to kind of make up the rest. So this is uh, the outside of it. That Hello Kitty was something my friend did. Um, there's the outside. I'm gonna go outside. Also something to note, I kind of put more effort into my exterior design versus my interior. It's just something I've always done. I think it's just because I, I lack ideas as far as the inside of my house goes. Not to mention I'm just going more for the aesthetic appeal. Anyway, so this is my house. I like the chandeliers and the sun, the skyscraper, skyscraper, <laughs> the sunroof, <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, a friend of mine, he did that. This is his server. Um, that's mine. <laughs> I really like the movie Up. I only saw it once though, but I decided to make one. Make a cool house. And it's very colorful. All aboard. Oh, look who it is. <laughs> The man himself. <laughs> I know he disappears there. He's uh, He's got places to be. Um, it's funny. It looks like it's cloudy outside. <laughs> it's not. That is an arena. Whee! Alright. And then I make these convenient to cross. That's another design. This is all mine, most of it anyway. Um, I'll point out what's not mine. I don't want to take credit for something that's not mine. Um, I built that train track, from, again from a picture. This is also mine. Another modern house. So another thing with the world that I usually create in, I go for a design like modern and then something like that over there, which is clearly not modern. It's like a sandcastle. So. Things in my world don't always make sense, but I kind of like that, where it doesn't have to necessarily go with a theme. It makes it more fun. Um, again, my weird interior, which is kind of empty. Chandelier, lots of windows, makes it look nice. Lots of records. So the upstairs, really plain. <laughs> this house doesn't even have a bedroom, I just noticed that. <laughs> There's the road. I just decided to do a road for some reason. They were fun. It kind of reminds me of that play car world that you'd go to as a kid to learn how to drive and the rules of the road as a kid. I don't know. That's what it reminds me of. <laughs> anyway, um, what would a world be without secret tunnels? <laughs> and making people follow them. Also, something to note is in this world, I'm forcing someone to go down these holes. Um, like, there's no ladders there, so they can't get back up, which is funny. So they're forced to follow the rules. Like, this sign that says, drink me, Alice. With all the water potions, but I'm in creative, so we'll just skip the hard part. And there you have it. Secret passageway. <laughs> um, just brings you... This is mine, a lighthouse. I saw a picture of it, and I wanted to create it. Um, the water, though, is really messed up. I meant to make it um, more coherent, but... And I think the person whoever lives in this lighthouse is a cat person, for sure. Which, who apparently is the zombie. <laughs> zombie cat lady. That's funny. Um, got a somewhat good view of everything. Just lots of water that I forcefully put there. <laughs> Got the enchanted books. Hmm. Hay bale. Bed. Anyway, not really much. Um, oh yeah, back to the sandcastle. Before I showed you the secret tunnel down there, but something also to note is another building idea is to just um, it doesn't have to be sensical, it could just be um, confusing.
confusing. Like, even I don't even know the real ways to get out of here. Just walk and walk. We built it a while ago. Also, another fun thing, you can build something like this and then have all of your friends go in it and play and um, put it in survival and uh, spawn a bunch of creepers and zombies. Creepers are annoying because they blow everything up. So if you see a bunch of holes, it's probably because a creeper blew it up. Um, they can put a bunch of zombies in and run away from them. It's really fun. There, that's where the creeper blew it up. Right there. Um, anyway, that's what it looks like. Here, another design of mine. Um, doesn't always have to be on the ground, like you've seen in the other buildings. This one I decided to do off the ground a little bit. Um, that's a castle of mine. We'll get to in another video. Um, and I made a lot of water and tree. What the hell, horse? Why are you half in, half out? <laughs> um, anyway, this is the giant snow globe. I built it for fun. That horse is so weird. Um, there used to be snowmen here, but I guess they melted or something. He wanted to know what it was like in summer. Yes, I just quoted Frozen. I'm so upset with myself. Um, yeah. Just a bunch of villagers trapped inside. This hole I just made up quickly. I filled it in though. Later. Um, this is not my creation. The first one was, but we played on it. It's a spleef arena. Props to Byron who uh, built it. It's really well done. Um, yeah. We played on not this one, but because there was another one before this one. Um, one I made, and then he made another one. And then we haven't played on this one yet. It looks really good though. Um, I go over the different levels in a sec. But the base I built, um, it took forever. Oh god. To friggin' dynamite and all of that stuff. Oh my gosh. Alright, so that's the clouds. Round one. This is the mountain peak. Round two. It's pretty good. I like his ideas. I don't know if he got it from somewhere else or if he's just really good at creating. That's the oasis. Buckets. It's cute. I would totally claim the green one. Yeah. This one is the marble quarry. It's pretty good. The next one, if I remember, it's the mines. Yeah. The mines! and Carly won, and then Byron won, and then I won again. And then I was the original creator, I guess. And then Byron created these last two. Don't mind my typing. <laughs> and a random egg. In the distance over there, it's Byron's castle. He's working on it. Christmas, everyone, from CB. Wow, that's a bit old. <laughs> oh yeah, here's the train. We're gonna go on a ride, see where my train track leads. Ready for an adventure? Diamonds! Oh, but, but, let's go 
going on? Oh, did you actually think that train track led anywhere? Haha, <laughs> joke's on you, because it doesn't. But I tricked you, and all of those other minecarts down there, if you can see them. It's kind of funny. <laughs> um, that was another arena. Hmm. Okay, this one I really liked. I learned how to do it on YouTube. I don't know which link, I just looked. So for a while, in the past, I worked on a boat, and we went through lock systems. That was a lot of fun. Um, so, here you go. I want to build some locks. And I did. Yeah, I thought it was cool. And then those are all the little boats up at the top. Ready to go downstream. I wish I could, uh, if I could do another world, I would make one like, just based on the river and have a bunch of logs. Alright, so this is kind of like a replica of the boat I worked on, sort of. Um, of course, there's a lot of things different. There's no vines growing in the actual boat. Um, and it's a lot bigger. <laughs> um, but I tried to make it to scale. There's our bow in the front there. It folds up, so that's why it looks like flat against the boat. <laughs> it's not just a weird bow. Um, that's our top deck. I, ooh, I didn't even realize you'd be learning all these boat terms. Um, our top deck, like, canopy also went down. This is the crew quarters down there. I'll show you that afterwards. So the funny thing about building this boat and why it's so much so off the, oh, this is the wheelhouse, side note, where the captain drives the boat that's the steering wheel apparently and this is his quarters um but anyway the reason why the boat itself is off the like river slash falls is because i thought it was gonna be a lot smaller and then i realized oh wait no it's much larger so hence before you start building make sure it's big enough or small enough or the right size anyway anyway so this is um like a seating area where our passengers sat and back here was the like library slash computer in which we put everyone used. Um, there was a lot of pictures and everything around here. And there was an elevator on the boat, actually, if you can believe that, even for such a small boat. Um, and the stairs. And this is like where a bunch of our face pictures were, um, like our photographs. Here is where I worked. I worked as a server at the bar be at the bar or actually serving food. This is the dining room. Um, it's pretty much to scale, I'd say. There's this number of tables. Um, yeah, it was a very tight space and this is how you'd feel sometimes serving food. You just rock back and forth, back and forth. Um, these were all the different rooms in the back. The dish pit where we spent a lot of our time washing dishes, which was fun. I had made a game of it, so I had fun. Um, anyway, if you're ever thinking of building a boat, these are some really good rooms to have on your boat, like, because they're realistic, because I worked on one, and I would know. Um, oh, there's Appa! Of course, I didn't see Appa in real life, <laughs> unfortunately, because that would be awesome. <laughs> Appa, Avatar fans up there, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> anyway, that was the, um, pantry. This is the galley. That's, um pretty much code for the kitchen, um, where the chefs cooked. This is the galley pantry, where, uh, where all of their stuff is. Um, oh, look at my head. <laughs> um, yeah, a bunch of chests and shelves and stuff. What else? Oh yeah, this is the crew quarters, so only crews pass here. A anything about crew quarters, you got, like, you gotta know, it's a small space you're living in. Trust me. Those are the showers. There are only three of them? No, there were only two of them. Yeah, only two showers between the 13 crew. Well, that's a lie. There's one of the guys, but that's for the engineer and the, um, uh, who else? The, like, co, um, captain. I can't, I'm blanking on the name. Okay. There was a, a ladder to get to the top deck. Oh, that's so pretty. It was a bit scary climbing it because it was
was like if that if the hatch ever fell on you it would hurt anyway there's all these rooms um a lot of the rooms either have three or two beds and they have the toilet and the sink in the room as well and these blue banners I put up um signify curtains because a lot of the rooms didn't have doors or the, and the showers didn't have doors they just had curtains the bathrooms didn't have doors they had curtains not that I'm complaining it's just I'm trying to give you a good idea of um what the boat looked like or like if you were gonna design a boat that's where the engineer stayed if you're gonna design a boat what the room should look like um this is the only room I think oh except for the captain's room that had a single bed or at least um one bed so downstairs um that's how you get off the boat of course you don't want to get off the boat right now since we're up in the air <laughs> that over there um where the chest is hiding um is the garbage disposal right here where we just throw our garbage uh, we obviously would not throw it overboard that's insane um these are the showers for the passengers port deck. Port is on the left side of the boat, um, and starboard is the right. And if you ever want to remember that, port has four letters, so does left. Um, so that room back there was the laundry room, and this is the tool room, and this is an example of a room. Two beds, sink, toilet, shelves. That's it. And they're all the same, and we had 24 of them. And 1918, 16, 15, 14, 12, 11. So you might see that we're missing a number there. 13. Because often in hotels, they don't have the um, 13th floor. And we didn't have the 13th room. So, something interesting to note. So all of these hatches, or trapdoors that you see, they're called hatches. And basically that's where we went and we got all of our supplies. And we, I haven't finished it on the boat because I'm lazy. Um, but you'd go down and you would find whatever you needed, which, depending on what your position was, as a server, I'd often go down and look for booze, wine, beer, whatever, or supplies. And then deckhands would go down for a completely different purpose. Um, and then we had doorbells to get out. Anyway, so that was the boat, and that's kind of what a boat looks like on the interior. If you ever down to making one, and I have a lot more in the distance, and I can get that to that in later videos. I have a whole town over there. And anyway, I thought these ideas might inspire you to build something. 